Hi everyone. Thank you all for taking part in our poll yesterday, and because of that, we voted overwhelmingly to paint Lewis Hamilton gold. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video yesterday. He has three coats of gold paint, and he beat Lakeless by like 80% to 20%. So we're not going to do him today at all. So the vote yesterday was, which will I do next? Was it the Apple iCar or Leakless? Okay, and overwhelmingly again, people voted for the Apple iCar. Now here's what it looks like, look. There's a Mac iCar number 84. It looks like Lightning McQueen, all white with an apple on the engine hood, number 84 on the side. For some reason they changed the number 84. I have no idea why. And here's another view of it here. This is the one I'll be using right here to make the uh, to paint. Okay, that's not my hands. My hands are over here, see? But anyway, the, somebody's holding the car. So I have a bunch of McQueens here. The one I was gonna use is this one here, but somebody reminded me it has no spoiler, so I can't use that one. Then I was gonna use this one here. But it looks kind of valuable, so I'm gonna leave that. I think that's right either spring for green or something. But so, and someone else suggested I do the primer one, but I can always make another primer one. But what I'm gonna do, guys, I've been promising to make another, uh, uh, the right color, fabulous Lightning McQueen soon. So I'm gonna take this McQueen here, paint it primer gray, and then put two coats of white and make this the Apple eye car. Okay, so don't be upset if I paint this a different color because I have another Lightning. I'm gonna make the fabulous Lightning McQueen again out of another Lightning McQueen. So just bear with me as I get this car ready to paint. I'm gonna peel these stickers off first. And then I'm gonna get the gray paint and paint the primer gray and then two coats of white and then the gray apple on the hood and the number 84 on the side and the grayed out windows. And I'm gonna try and draw a lightning bolt if I can. And I'm gonna paint the wheels gray too. So let's get the paint set up and paint primer gray on the whole car. Okay, we got our beautiful primer paint here. It's just dollar store paint. I'm gonna put a whole bunch in here and I'm gonna paint the wheels gray and probably not to get too much on the tires, but don't get upset now because I'm using this car again. Um, I will make another Primer McQueen, only the right color. This was the wrong color right from the beginning. And if you know what I mean, look, there's the real Fabulous Lightning McQueen and there's the color I used, which is totally wrong. So I missed these two stickers here, sorry. So once these are gone, then I can start painting the whole car Primer Gray, starting in the back fender. Here we go, guys. And um, once I get the gray on, then I'll put two coats of white. And I don't, th I don't think I'll need more than two coats because uh, the white's gonna go on the gray really nice. I, I, I've been asked to make the apple car for a long time. The windows gotta be painted gray too. So I'm just gonna leave, hey, good idea. I'll leave them gray. I'll paint the whole thing gray. Then I'll paint the white around the windows because the windows are gray. The tires have to be painted too. So I'm not gonna worry about that. Tires are black and the wheels are, that was a good idea whoever told me that. The wheels are, gray just look at there yeah the wheels are gray okay and I'll paint as much as I can without I can do all this window this is gonna be easy to paint now because I'm covering the windows in gray paint I'll just paint around them with white just the opposite of what I normally do and uh, the front uh, he caught a small little smile actually there's no smile on him at all he's all white according to the picture I have now I don't have this car and I didn't even know it existed because somebody but somebody's been asking me for a long time to paint the apple car I had no idea what it is so finally I looked it up oh I said oh the apple car okay now I have to do it so anyway I didn't I don't mind using this Lightning McQueen um, because it was the wrong color and I would have had to paint it again anyway so I'm just saving myself from McQueen by doing this doing this guy you know, I have to be careful on the eyes there we go and I'm gonna hold it by the front wheels and I'll paint them again later. Gray. I'm gonna paint it black anyway, so it doesn't matter. Just put the rough coat of white on. This, guy, this guy's gonna have lots of paint on him when I finish this for sure. He's already got a coat of primer gray from when I made Primer McQueen. And then I painted it blue. Doc Hudson blue, but it's not the right color blue. Careful. Not bad. Fix that with the white layer. Good. Yeah, it's gonna be hard because it's all white in there too. Let's make sure I get the paint done. So, wow, that came pretty nice. There's another Primer McQueen. Now we'll put this. Oops, got the back, guys. Got the back. I wonder if it has back lights on there or something. So, what did you think of the video yesterday where I made uh, Lewis Hampton retired? Thanks for watching, guys. I got tons of views on that video and lots of likes, lots of comments, and overwhelmingly voted. I think I showed you the chart. Check it out. You guys all wanted Apple McQueen. Let's put it under the heat lamp. We'll dry it off, then get the white out. Okay, we're back again. The car dried really nice. It's a Primer Lightning McQueen. I painted everything gray, even the tires and wheels, because the wheels have to be gray and the tires are black. So I got lots of white here. I better shake it up a little bit. And um, 
I'm going to put white, probably two coats of white on the whole car right now, get it nice and thick. I'm using the same brush. I'm just going to try and mist the, uh, the windows. I want to leave the windows grey. I'll paint the black white and I'm going to do it two coats, obviously, because the first coat's not going to be enough. Usually you can tell right away if one coat's going to be enough or two because it's just how it fills fills in the color. And primer is a good color to start with because it's primer gray. Now this got the nice spoiler on the back. Look, same as this car here, same spoiler. And it looked like it might have been Lightning McQueen used for that particular model. That might even be a homemade model too, I have no idea. But um, I didn't even know the iCar existed. Like I said, but someone kept asking for it and kept asking for it. So when I looked into it, gee, it does exist. And um, they're making it because he won the vote. Really good vote too. There we go, that looks good. Now I'm gonna try and keep the windows clear. Now someone suggested I put the car down for any delicate work, and I'm gonna do that this time. When I start doing the apple on the hood, I'm gonna lay the car down on the desk here, and I'm going to try and paint it without getting, without making a mess. I'm gonna hold the car in place, and then try and be very delicate with a new brush, see if I can draw a nice apple on the top, and put number 84 on the sides and probably draw a lightning bolt, if I can remember to do the lightning bolt, I'm not sure if I will. Sometimes I promise I'm going to do something, then I forget. And nobody ever caught me on it. Somebody, um, somebody sometime would say, hey, you forgot to do it. Oh yeah, I did forget to paint the taillights on that car or something like that there. But anyway, that's okay. And I hold the back wheels and see if I can get this back fender done. Because the first coat's going on really nice. I'm really happy with that. I'd love to put some taillights back there. But I don't have a picture of the back of the car, so I might just make my own some red lights back there and put some headlights on it. There's headlights on the car. They're gray but I'll have to start again with the gray for that. I have lots of gray left over. Be very careful here. So um, how many of you guys like the video? I mentioned it before I went on break there about um, making retired Lewis Hamilton. Did you like that video? Um, somebody suggested I do it in black. He wanted me to change the color right away and I can't change the color now, it's finished, it's done. Sorry whoever that was, I appreciate your comments but I'm not changing the black. The gold looks way too good. I know you're supposed to paint it the same color he was, I should have painted it grey. But I mean I should have painted a dark, dark, dark grey or black, but uh, I think the gold looks so much nice on him. And um, according to this here, it's all whiter on the eyes too. Sorry if I missed the camera view sometimes, I'll try my best. There. There's the first coat. The windows are nice, uh, except I got some. I need a tiny, tiny brush right here for that gray. I'll see if I can gray that back out right here. The white's still wet. There, put the second coat on in a minute and we'll see how it looks. Okay, I'm back. The first coat went on really nice and the second coat should just uh, really make it nice and thick and then I'll put the, uh, I'll come back. What I'm going to do is make a spot on my on my desk here so I can actually um, paint with the, the camera facing the table so I can hold the car steady. I'm going to try that. That was a good suggestion and I want to thank the person who sent it to me. It's going on really thick now. The paint is kind of, the car is kind of warm because I have it under the heat lamp to dry the paint. So I'm just going to pour paint in here. There we go. And it's a lot, obviously, but it doesn't matter. I'm just trying to get some good, a good quantity of paint on the brush. It's not hard. The paint, uh, the paint brush is probably getting kind of hard too because I forgot to wash it out. Oh well. Okay, no problem. Now this second coat is going on really nice. Um, can tell anybody tell me if the Apple Eye car was in any commercials or is it just a, a creation? that somebody created I guess on their own or was it in any cartoons or was it in the Apple show or Apple store or where did this car come from tell me a story tell me where it came from I'm dying to know oh sorry but I paint sometimes I forget uh, to look at the camera because sometimes I miss miss what I'm painting as some of you have already seen okay once I get this side done oh my thumbprint was there okay I do get a lot of paint on my fingers doing this but it's water it's not poisonous paint, it's not um, It's not bad for you, there's no lead or anything, it's just hobby paint from the dollar store. And I get the brushes, so I get the paint there, you can get just put anything you want for this here hobby. Now is anybody else painting their cars too? Somebody said I've inspired them to paint their cars, so I'd like to hear more of that. The more the better guys, I'd like to see you start your, get a YouTube and, and upload the video to YouTube of the car itself, I don't care how long the video is. 
just show the car or take some pictures of it and put them on Facebook. I mean on YouTube, sorry. And let's see how they look. Okay, this is almost done. Once this is done, guys, I'll come back and start putting on the, uh, the Apple stuff. Looks good. Wow. And I'll touch up that gray again when I come back. Okay, there's a the second coat complete. It's kind of thick, as you can see. I just slathered it on pretty good. Then I'll come back and I'll do the wheels. Have to be painted black, the tires, I mean. And the Apple eye, the Apple right here. Okay, that looks great. Okay, that came really nice. Now, while I was off camera, I touched up the gray on the windows and I poured some black. I'm going to do all four tires right now and get it over with so don't make a mess later. Just gonna hold each tire like this here and spin it and that is beautiful. Okay, that's exactly what the car looks like. Black tires, gray wheels, okay? So I'll do that to all four very carefully so don't make a mess and then I'll put it down to dry and when I come back, I'll start doing the touch-ups. Um, the headlights maybe. Whoops, I got some black right on the white there, see? I'll, I'll fix that too. Okay, here goes. Third wheel, I think I'll do under here too because it's pretty messy. There we go. Check that out. And the last one, hmm, hard to hold and spin. I'll try not to get it in the body this time. There. The tires always come good. Beautiful. Okay, check that out. Now I'll leave that dry and when I come back, I'll, um, I want to do the headlights first. Maybe I can do that. There's a speck of orange and gray. Orange is on the front of the headlights. I got some orange right here. I'm gonna put a little dab of orange right here first before the headlight while I'm waiting for the, for the tires to dry. Just a little triangle of orange, like that. Quite a triangle, but I feel I can make it more square. There, and when I put the gray on, I'll come up to the front with the gray. Okay, leave that dry and we'll come back in a few minutes. Now the wheels and tires are all set and I'll put the gray on there and then I'll I'll draw some, um, try and draw the apple on the angel hood Okay, next. the orange is dry. I'm gonna put the car right here and I'm gonna try and not, I'm gonna try and be more precise this time. I'll zoom in a little closer so I can get a better view without going into focus. How's that look? Okay, here goes the gray on the headlights first. I'm gonna draw a nice headlight. Okay, let's try the other side now, see if I can do that. Not too bad. There's the car, and here's what I got. That's not too bad. And now the apple, the hard part. Let's draw that big apple on the hood. There, it's not too bad. I'm gonna leave that dry before I make a mistake now, and uh, then I'll come back and put number 85 on the side, and maybe a lightning bolt here and there. Okay, that apple came better than I expected, and according to this, there's a couple of lightning bolts on the hood, so I'm gonna try, on the fenders, I mean, I'm gonna try and draw a lightning bolt on each fender, and practice them with a pen, so I hope I get it okay. One on this side. Hard looking lightning bolt, even by my standards. But I'll see if I can touch it up later with white. And on the side, there's actually a little lightning bolt all across the bottom. Oh, I'll show you what I mean. And number 90, number 85 in the middle. Actually, it's number 95 in this car. So why don't I make it 95 like Lightning McQueen? This is 84 on this car. That's not the right one though. This is 95. So I'm going to put 95 on this one here. And I'm going to try and draw a lightning bolt across the bottom. So I'm going to lay it like this here. And go right across the bottom. Make a lightning bolt all the way across. And it goes up over the back fender. And it goes way up here. And down to the beginning with the lightning bolt. Just like that. Wow, it's nice. And in the middle, it says 95. Let's see if I can write 95 with this fancy new brush. Yes, way better. Nice. 
Nice. Wow, that came pretty nice. Now let's try the other side, see if we can get the same thing. Okay, so there's a lightning bolt across the bottom. It goes up. Over the fender. And it goes back. Down. Right down there. And number 95 in the middle. It's a great brush. Wow, that's pretty nice. Well, I promised some red tail lights, so let's do that next. I'm going to use a different brush. I had some red paint right here, a little drop. I just want to put some nice red lights across here. I don't know what's. Oh, geez, I couldn't even. I never even had it in the camera view. There, beautiful red lights. Now, um, on top of the car is number 95 again in, um, in big gray letters. So I'm going to get a bigger brush right here and write 95 in big gray letters. I mean numbers. Just like this. We're almost done, guys. This is the last step. Now, somebody, if, if I made a mistake, let me know in the comments because somebody might have the exact car. So there it is. Let's clean up, guys, and we'll have a look at this nice, beautiful job of the Apple iCar. Oh, okay, here comes the big reveal. There is the Apple iCar, as requested by many of you in our poll, when I put the Apple iCar against the Leakless, I mean the Hulk, I mean Claude Shrugs. So, I think uh, this was a great choice. Thank you all for suggesting it and voting for it. Apple iCar is perfect. I will make another fabulous Lightning McQueen soon. Maybe that'll be in a video coming up soon. Okay, let's make uh, another poll right now. Okay, here goes. What would you rather have to do next? Fabulous Lightning McQueen or retired Leakless? So please leave your comment in the, uh, there's a vote up here. Push the button here and you can vote on what you want me to do next. Fabulous Lightning McQueen or retired Leakless. In the meantime, let's look at this beautiful Apple car. Wow. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you liked the video. Hit the like button if you didn't and subscribe, don't forget. And come back and watch more. And always leave a comment, I appreciate it.